Hello, I'm uh, going to answer some questions about the assignment that I gave uh, dealing with um, putting in your dark shapes until your light shapes have meaning, painting in just black and white. Uh, the reason that I um, gave this assignment just as a warm up, so uh, it's a good way to get yourself understanding how you construct a painting. The one that you see right now in front of me is one that I get, gave as a demo for the Gaithersburg Art uh, Association. And um, it was actually working with pure color. We're gonna eventually um, do some things with that. I'm not totally finished with this painting, but it will give you an idea of the stage that it's in. All right, but how do I construct a painting like this? It goes through my mind. And I, what I wanna do now is to let you hear um, you know, what I'm thinking when I go to make this painting, all right? Uh, if I was to do a study, all right, I would be looking at this uh, in black and white, all right? With the reason is that, um, you know, because I'm working in black and white, um, you know, I'm able to get a, a design. And I think that this is one of the things that I'm after is to try and uh, get a design that's going to work, okay? So usually I'll start, I'm going to start with black just to um, give you an idea of what uh, I'm going to do. I want you to understand that there are certain elements, uh, like for instance, when we see this apple on this book, all right, we can see that the, 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 one of the first shapes we see is a dark shape like this, all right? That dark shape is the shadow of that apple. And I think that uh, we want to uh, understand that that's uh, one of the most important elements is to pick out what are the darkest moments in, uh, in this design, all right? So we want to go after those first. So we might see what we consider dark. So it's obvious that one of the easiest things to see is just the shadows. Now, it helps to be able to visualize your composition, all right, before you start, so that you can see it on your canvas, all right? But you can see that I went after the, the shape of the bowl and its shadow, and now I'm going to, um, and obviously I've got to see how the bowl uh, works here, height-wise. I'm not doing any sketching, so I want you to understand that I do a lot of this because I want to uh, visualize what's going on here, but I also paint shape. And uh, I think the important thing is to pick out your darkest shapes first, okay? So, you know, um, that helps you to come to understand what you're dealing with, okay? And then eventually you can kind of, uh, make a number of things happen based upon uh, you know the placement of these dark shapes. So I'm just going to show you how I do this. This is a little bit more complex in the beginning, uh, only because it just takes time to get this to, to do what you want it to do. But I think the um, you know these are what we would call the dark the dark shapes. Okay. And uh, I think the um, elements of design, okay, uh, these are things that you eventually you become aware of and uh, bring to your work. Okay, so you can kind of get an idea that I'm putting the bowl in right now. And we have the shadow on the side of the apple. We will call that a dark shape, okay? Usually shadows are going to be considered dark. And since we are uh, doing this uh, work right now, okay, uh, the, um, the important thing here is to understand how we can kind of construct the idea based upon the pattern of dark and light. So I think that that's, that's what I'm after right now. And uh, you notice that I didn't do any drawing so that's a, um, that's a challenge sometimes, but that's what we want. We want to be challenged. And I think the um, thing is that uh, we can 
we can do that very easily. All right, just give yourself time. Uh, you know, we are working with uh, uh, black and white, okay? And we can go after, like I said, the darkest shapes first. So I think that this is one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna squint and you wanna see what are your darkest shapes, all right? And obviously there are dark shapes back here that are darker, okay? Then, uh, then we, you might uh, think that, you know, how they are, all right? Based upon their color, they look lighter, but honestly, uh, we're gonna call them a dark. So I'll give you an idea of me trying to make this idea work. And we wanna keep the darks all about the same. We don't wanna have any uh, value, all right? So we really wanna uh, interpret things that way. Now, this is one of the things, we're gonna talk about this bowl here in a few minutes, but uh, one of the things is that we have to make a decision what, what are our shadows and what are our lights. Okay, and uh, you know we might misdraw something sometimes. Okay, that's that's okay. All right, I'm just looking to see how far out this is going. Uh, gonna line up my brush this way. That's the book. Okay, and it kind of comes down here, and it kind kind of comes like that. Okay, so. Um, yeah, that's how it's going. So that's, that's the book at this point. Uh, we do have some dark shadows that are going out to the, to the uh, boundary of this, okay? And, uh, you know, at this point, we're not going to fill it all totally in. But truthfully, when you, when you um, squint, you're going to see that that whole area goes dark. So in a way, that's what you want to do, okay? And, uh, you know, we have this line going off the side here. Uh, we have this dark behind the bowl. So that's going to go like that. Okay. There's a violin by, back there, and it's, it's a dark. It's not a light. But we're going to handle it as, a, um, as a, 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 a light right now because one of the things that you're going to see is we're not going to take out all the lights right away. Okay, we're going to make some decisions as to how the lights are working. And certain lines, like a dark line, obviously is a dark, okay, or a dark shape here, and how it makes the edge of the apple. And there are a bunch of little shapes in there, but when you squint, they become dark as well as the ink well here. Okay, so we're going to. Um, Bring that ink well in like that at this point. And I squint usually, okay? Try and get an idea of what I'm looking at. And, uh, you know, I've gotten pretty good at this. What you're seeing is somebody who can do this without, without having to put a drawing down, okay? You should be able to teach yourself to do that. Now, one of the things I mentioned was this bowl. This bowl's got a, you know, a dark little pattern on it right here. And I should have made that bowl bigger, all right? But it definitely has a shadow here, so we have that. And it has a shadow running through its middle, and it doesn't look like it's a dark, but it is, all right? So we're going to make that a dark. And, um, you know, we have the, um, uh, the violin back here. There are certain areas of the violin that go darker, okay? So at this point, maybe we just do something like that. I probably could have made this bowl a little bit wider here. And you know what? We have a, I have a rag, so I can always um, wipe out where I've done, where I've put too much uh, paint on, all right? And we're going to go right in here and just wipe that bowl out a little bit, all right? Just to kind of get it to uh, look like a light at this point, 
all right? But it's not going to be, believe it or not, okay? So now I'm going to kind of get over to this part here. And of course, we have this dark of the um, uh, inkwell. Okay, it kind of goes like that. And this is where you really want to learn shape. Okay, and we have a uh, we have a line here, which is the feathers line. Okay, and uh, and we can kind of take advantage of that line right now. Even though, truthfully, this little thing here is going to become a dark, all right, which is the, the point on the, on, the, on the pen. And the pen is going into the top of the inkwell, well, something like that, okay? And uh, now we're going to go to the uh, area behind the inkwell, or I mean, behind the feather. And there's a shape here that makes a white uh, picture. Okay, this is the um, the blue area of the book. All right, and because it's a, a dark, we're going to um, put it in first before we put in the dark roofs, perhaps that are there. But we're going to see. All right, because we're looking at design now. All right. And design means that we only put in certain uh, things, leaving other things. All right, as um, uh, and this is something that you'll you'll learn to um, uh, get good at. And then this this feather goes all the way up like that. All right, we do have a thin line that runs down the feather. All right, it might be a dark. And now we're going to go into the into the uh, vase with the the white. Um, white flower up here. I always look to see angles so I can sometimes go like this to make sure that that, that white flower appears and it does actually. It kind of, kind of comes to about right there. Okay and now we're going to get this vase. The vase is very interesting. It uh, comes out of the, the bottom of this um, uh, inkwell. Uh, remember, I'm only doing the dark shapes and I'm watching the white shapes as to what kind of meaning they have. All right. And, uh, and I want you to understand that that's, we're not using grays now. We're just making everything the same value of dark because we really want a pattern of light and dark. All right. And whenever I'm uh, making a, uh, um, a painting. All right, I'm looking for that. Now you can say, well, this is a great composition. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? You know? And this will give you an idea. But one of the things that I'm doing right now is I am not, um, uh, I want you to understand that I, the, the, the key to this it happens to be the dark shapes. And like, for instance, this is a, a violin. There are three dark shapes here. Then there's a dark here, and then there's a dark here, but this is darker here. We're first going to put those in as darks, thinking of the other part as light. Okay? And now, uh, you know, I got the book here that kind of comes down, and this book goes like this. All right, and uh, we have a little um, area of the of the book here, and the first thing we're going to do is just go after the dark shapes. All right, which means the black or darkest shape. And, um, and this, by the way, is called no tan by the Japanese. It was a period in, uh, uh, especially Degas. Uh, really uh, went after this in his work, especially his monotypes, all right? And that was his way of dividing into dark and light. As a matter of fact, he would take a monotype and completely cover the plate that he was uh, using to print, okay, because that's what monotypes are. He would cover it with black ink, and then he would wipe out the lights, all right? So we're uh, right now just kind of trying to find 
patterns of shape here. And uh, remember, we're not making any gray. So if anything looks gray, it's not. Now, what's really interesting is that there's a piece of blue uh, cloth here, all right, turquoise. But guess what? It's seen as a dark because it makes the light of the book and it makes the light of the days. Okay. And then uh, this is the handle on the vase. All right. And we can see the shape in between. And remember, I'm just going after what we call the dark shapes. That's all we want to do. One of the tough parts is that people who wind up painting, they don't understand that color creates a problem in understanding what is a dark and what is a light. Okay. And I think the, um, the thing that we want you all to, to do here is just to kind of make, uh, you know, an understanding of what you're experiencing here uh, in, in dark and light, because that's going to be your design. And you see now that what I've done, all right? So this is, this is my design, all right? There are certain colors in here, uh, that I could perhaps the greens or whatever, but um, you know, there's certain uh, areas on the bowl here. The bowl itself gets darker on the left, so its edge disappears. All right. Uh, there is a sh shadowed shape here, kind of connects there. But um, this is it. All right. It's that simple. And um, there's a shadow here that's being cast, so we can put that shadow in. But that's it. That's what I'm looking for. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. All right. I'm going to send this to you, a link, and you'll be able to uh, access it. And uh, hopefully it worked. And I'm um, in the studio right now with a ton of paintings because I'm getting ready for a show at the Bridge Gallery, Bridge Gallery in the... In the Shepherdstown, so I'm knocking things over trying to get through. All right, but that's it. All right, and I hope that answered your questions. Uh, from here on out, that means that the, you're painting the, the light shapes, all right, uh, if you're working on a, on a dark canvas, or you're painting the dark shapes when you're working on a light canvas. But you should probably start all your ideas this way, all right? And if you don't start it on a, on a, in a painting, then, uh, you know, start it in your sketchbook first, enough to get an idea, all right? Okay, if you have any questions, just email me and we'll, we'll be talking. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some studies uh, this first class. So if you wanna work with me, I'm gonna put some objects up and you'll be able to um, uh, do what I, or, or I'll do some, uh, if we're doing landscape, okay? We'll put some landscapes up. And you can do that as well. All right. Okay. Have a good day. All right. Bye.